So this is the Nest Audio, Google's new smart home speaker. It retails for $100 US or $129 here in Canada, and it comes in a bunch of awesome colors. Mine here is the sky color, but it also comes in sage, chalk, gray, and black. It's a mid-range speaker, replacing the Google Home that was released back in 2016. It's bigger, but it's not as big as the massive Google Home Max. It kind of looks like a pillow, but in a good way. Transitional is the best way to describe it. It doesn't have that historic smart home speaker look, nor does it look like something from the future. A product that I feel will blend in nicely with most people's furniture. It's made out of this recycled aluminum and magnesium, then wrapped inside a mesh fabric. I've had the bigger Google Home Max for years, and the fabric is still in excellent condition. To control the speaker, you can use voice commands to ask a question, control the Pause. volume, or play music but underneath the center front cover are four LED lights that show the volume levels, whether the microphone is muted and if the speaker is listening. If you prefer physical controls at the top, baked into the fabric are capacitive buttons that let you play, pause, and control the volume. They're hard to see. And for someone who's buying this as their first Google speaker, may never know they're actually there unless they read a manual or someone showed it to them. There's three microphones inside compared to only two in the Google Home. It had zero issues understanding my voice commands even when the volume was maxed out. Unlike the Google Home Max, it can't do 360 degree sound, but uses the more traditional directional approach. This is fine, as, as most people are gonna be placing this on a table, shelf, or desk, and not in the middle of some maniac's dining room. Design is great, but sound quality matters the most. Inside is a three inch woofer and a three quarter inch tweeter. The sound is good and clean at all volumes, nor distortion at max, and there's even enough bass to be satisfied. It doesn't pound like the Google Home Max, but it's good enough. It's not gonna beat a Sonos One in sound quality, nor should it considering it's half the cost, but I feel for $100, the sound quality is right where it should be. Now, if you feel a single Nest Audio doesn't have enough oomph, you can buy a second one and pair them in a stereo configuration. Unfortunately, you can't create a home theater setup like you can with a Sonos or Amazon system, but for general listening and voice services, it works great. Google has fine-tuned the Nest Audio to adjust itself depending on what you're listening to, whether it's a podcast, audiobook, or even voice calls. There's no 3.5 millimeter audio jack to connect devices to it. You'll have to use Bluetooth or Chromecast to connect your smartphone or computer. In fact, the only physical control is the mute switch that toggles the microphones on or off or prevents the speaker from listening to you. Now I'm gonna play some music from the Sonos One and Nest Audio by doing a speaker comparison, but quite frankly, it's really hard to tell unless you're listening to it in person. Hopefully this gives you a better idea of what to expect between both products. Look, at the end of the day, it's an excellent smart speaker that produces good sound. And if you're embedded into the Google ecosystem, it will make a great addition to your lineup. Whether it's to be used in a multi-room configuration, stereo pairing, or even as a single speaker. However, if you want to eventually build a wireless home theater system, but still have voice assistant, Sonos is the better option on the premium end and Amazon Echo devices being more budget friendly. Either way, the Nest Audio is a solid addition to Google's smart speaker lineup. And for a hundred bucks, it's really hard to go wrong. Anyways, that wraps up my review of Google's brand new Nest Audio. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you wanna see more speaker reviews, let me know as well. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.